Hello and welcome to my channel everyone. Today's video will be a tour of my bedroom that I share with both my husband and our daughter. Our room begins here at a sliding door so that's why we have this curtain for privacy. Soon as you enter there is a couple steps down and to the right of me I have a rod of multiple hooks on the wall. This rod, including the two nails, was just a buck from Dollar Tree, pretty affordable. And on it, I just hang things like my keys, my jackets, and of course, my longboard. And the only light source that came with this room is this ancient wall light that is probably older than both of our ages combined. Right below that, on this shelf, I have displayed an artwork that my daughter made. And behind it, I have a spray bottle for my plants. And then next to that, I have an air purifier. And this right here is my beautiful bamboo plant. It's the most recent plant that I have added. Literally picked this plant up from the trash can where it got tossed out by its previous owner. And since I didn't have a bamboo plant in my plant collection, I thought, why not give it a second chance at life? So I brought it home with me. These two stackable shelves I remember getting from a garage sale when I was like 10. And now my daughter uses it for all of her artwork and her books and toys. And then over here is that curtain that we entered from. And right here is my lovely jade pathos plant. Yes, it is hanging from a string on a hook from the ceiling. And then in this corner of the room, I have a large mirror on the wall. This mirror, I believe, was from a garage sale. I also have a light stand thrifted from Goodwill where I like to hang things like my bucket hat which was donated to me from my neighbor, my little cow print backpack that was like four bucks from Goodwill, and a Nike hat. Oh, and my Trader Joe's bag that was a gift from one of my students. And then here in the bottom, I have a little plant growing in water. It was a cutting from another plant. Luckily, we also have another sliding door that leads to the backyard, which is really nice. We get a lot of natural light in the daytime. And then in the far corner at the bottom, I do have a shoe rack that I purchased from Goodwill for like four bucks. It's originally from Ikea according to the sticker, but I like to use it as my plant stand and on the sides I have a basket for all of my wires and chargers oh and i thrifted that basket for two bucks from savers i also have a black box where i keep all my important stuff and my laptop on top and then on the other side i have a straw bag that i keep all of my hot tools and my hairbrush in moving up i have a white pod from target purchased for eight dollars and in it i have my beautiful monstera deliciosa plant this plant is the star of the room it just brings everything together and it's so so beautiful i highly recommend it it's also very easy to care for i have also gotten a lot of questions about where i purchased it and it was 12 dollars from trader joe's and then moving up on the wall i do have two wooden floating shelves both of them are from goodwill that i got for an amazing deal of just seven dollars on the top shelf, I like to keep my very tiny yet mighty snake plant, a pen and pencil holder, and that case is for all my SD cards. The empty space in the middle is for my camera, and I also have a couple books. I'm currently reading The Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. It's so good. And then I also have my little philodendron birkin plant. And then the bottom shelf has a lot of our essential go-to everyday things that we need like for example our skincare and hair care our deodorants and some perfume i also have my makeup bag and my eyeshadow palette and while i was filming this video i went to goodwill and i found this super cute jar it cost me just a dollar 89 and i thought about putting my q-tips in there and they fit perfectly i'm so happy with this find and here's a little bit more insight on my makeup bag. It is from the brand Sophia Joy. I purchased it for around $10 from Walmart, but I've also seen it on Amazon. And it comes with two zippers for its two compartments. It fits all of my makeup and I just really fell in love with the print. It has huge monstera leaves on it. 
Also from Goodwill is this yellow pot that cost me around six bucks and in it I keep my money tree. This plant is very unique and special. From its twisting trunks to the shape of its leaves, it's just a very beautiful plant that looks great on any shelf. I hardly buy or own any decorations of any kind, and that's mainly due to the fact that we don't have any place for them in our home. Over time, I have learned to use the wall to optimize my space, and I like to hang my straw hat that I got for my trip to Hawaii on a hook. And next to it, I have my Pelia peperonioid plant, also known as the Chinese money plant. And there is one last secondhand slash thrifted item, our bed. We did get it in almost new condition, and I'm really happy that it didn't come with the headboard because I don't really feel like we need one. And it is laying on a thicker mattress thing on the floor, which I also really like because that way my daughter can climb on and off really easily. The two white pillowcases are from Ross from the brand Calvin Klein and then the middle one is from Costco and then our sheets are from Target and that tiny little Pooh Bear, I've had it since the 90s. I am a 90s kid and I just could not get rid of my Pooh Bear, it's been with me ever since. So that concludes the room tour, hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and before you go, here's the quote of the day. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it.